ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. Now, there's another article here on CNH, uh, or not, let's see, uh, right to know NH.org, which actually is testimony provided to the House Judiciary Committee in support of uh, uh, some other bills. House Bills 1786, 88, and 89. Let's at least focus on 1786, since I sort of understand it. There's been this problem with local governments charging exorbitant fees or making it un unduly difficult to, re to get documents from them under the Right to Know Act. So here he is again, David K. Taylor saying, quote, I am David K. Taylor of Durham, New Hampshire. I served for 12 years on the Oyster River School Board and still serve on the Oyster River Long Range Planning Committee. I have been an advocate for open government for the last several years. I write in support of HB 1786. This bill adds two words to RSA 91-A colon 4, comma, 4. <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the movie Brazil, where, you know, you didn't fill out, you did not fill out a B7 stroke 8776 form. <clears throat> anyway, the, the, the RSA colon whatever, quote, that clarifies that no charges of any kind may be required to simply inspect government records. HB 606 in 2016, added the provision that begins, quote, no fee shall be charged for the inspection, unquote. From the legislative record for HB 606, it was clear this was intended to prohibit all charges. But in two court cases, the word fee was argued to be distinct from cost. The one case in Tuftonboro and the other in SAU 55. A cost is a charge to cover expenses, but the definition of a fee is ambiguous. A fee can be any kind of charge, or a fee can be a charge for a service, like an attorney's fees, or a fixed charge, like an application fee. In other places, in RSA 91-A, both the terms cost and fee are used, leading to the more consistent interpretation that fee does not include cost. For example, the next sentence of RSA 91-A colon 4 comma 4, quote, nothing in this section shall exempt any person from paying fees otherwise established by law for obtaining copies of governmental records or documents. But if such fee is established for the copy, no additional costs or fees shall be charged, unquote. To make, the, to make sure the law prohibits all charges, both costs and fees, for inspecting records, please support HB 1786. Unquote. That's the end of David Taylor's statement. Oh boy, talk about hacking at the branches. You know, if Thoreau was a thousand hacking at the branches for every one striking at the root, I guess if all 1,000 people were stri uh, striking at the same branch, then the branch would at least come down. But the problem is that these thousand people are spread out across a thousand branches, just hacking at them, not really bringing very many of them down. Wouldn't it be better, I mean, for as long as there's going to be a bill submitted, why not do something really exciting? Like a bill that says uh, every law added must result in a law being appealed, repealed, or every word added to uh, the text of, of laws, there must be a word removed. Now that would kind of strike the root. Or a law exempting all New Hampshireites from paying taxes. Of course these wouldn't pass the first time they're submitted. But if they were submitted six or eight times over a 15 year period, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the two passed in some form or fashion. Meanwhile, at least mainstreaming the idea, getting everybody excited. We'd get national press coverage for stuff like that. Anyway, at least they're fighting. That's the important thing. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.